When we had last left, V. There were a whole bunch of fistfights going on. Some for honor, others for cars. But ultimately it led to a conflict of interests? A conflict that erupted in gunfire, of course, for someone else had a job for V at the site of one of the fistfights. But it kind of all worked out in the end. Anyway, it was time for more side quests. This is Cyberpunk 2077. Welcome back. Let's get on in our little rinky dink mobile. I guess we'll talk to Stefan for this sweet dreams thing. Let's see. I don't really remember what this is about. This may have been one of the quests that we picked up by just driving by it randomly and then it just sort of like cropped up, you know? Sweet dreams. Everyone knows the most gut-twisting, brain-blitzing, dwarf jack and brain dances aren't bought in stores or feeders, but on the, on the streets, outside normal circulation. Take our fine man Stefan here as proof. Seems he's got the rawest beaties in the city. Not for the faint of heart. What do you say? Want to take that rush to the next level? Hell yeah, Johnny. Of course. Let's do it. Let's take it to the next level. Are there any other quests out here that we should hit up along the way? Nah, we'll just fast travel out there. Which one should we go to? How about this? It's kind of a straight shot. Or is it? Maybe more so that one. Let's go do that one. I'll get my gamepad here. There we are. Good, good, good. Yeah, not many of the brain dance stuff being used in side quests, right? Which, I don't know. It feels like kind of a good balance, honestly. Right, because i that was one of the things I remember folks were getting a little afraid of when they first showed off the system, is that they would lean too heavily into it. Right? And I don't, I don't think they do at all. If anything, maybe they kind of underutilize it in, in some places, right? Here. We'll just jump over this. There we go. What in the world? Ooh. All right, it's fast travel. Go on up here and over this way. You know, I saw some of the footage that people were able to dig up of the game in its launch state. Um. Like, people who have a disc copy were able to uninstall all the patches on their consoles and boot directly from the disc with, like, what was on the disc, right? And there were some, of course, you know, there were a whole bunch of, like, unpatched bugs and shit like that, right? But really interestingly, in looking at the map, I would highly recommend looking into some of those videos that people, like, dug shit up with if you're, like, super interested in, like, the goings-on of Cyberpunk and, like, especially approaching it from, like, an academic angle. But the camera is, like, totally, like, 3D all the time. It's like this camera right here, except with all the, like, proper navigation and shit, and you could, like... It, it was essentially like this, right? Except with all the, like, legend shit on top, right? There was so much, like... There were some weird things that ended up getting cut... By like the day one patch or whatever like also I think I remember in one of the videos people were saying that like uh, the random street vendors like all of them could be accessed as a vendor or whatever like this person theoretically I could go up to why is everyone got it out for and me? talk even though they don't have a marker or whatever right oh you I remember you yeah we were gonna come back to you okay Precious and this seemed like trouble on the street prices you can't beat what have you got? For you, girl, that's the night the city has to offer. And that would be? The most Nova spec, geeked out, turned up virtue you ever seen. Man, I'm talking like transcendental. Where's it from? You got a license for exclusive distribution in Night City? Come on, man. Ain't nobody bothered with that shit. Know why? Because the stuff I got's way too legit to be legit. Feel me? What's on the virtue? 
real feeling, neuron shredding, high octane, trans sensational, adrenaline popping shit, yo. Your brain will blow us low, girl. Trust me on this one. Okay. 16,000, though. All right. You got my attention. Yeah. <laughs> Knew you couldn't resist. Virtues all yours. Couple more eddies, you can use my plate. No need. I've got my own wreath. Of course you do. It's probably top shelf, latest firmware, too, right? You see, this virtue's approaching vintage gray. I doubt you'll be able to run it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just give this dude some more money. Now, why not? Let's run it on yours. Can't wait, huh? <laughs> With the shit you're about to experience, I'll be bouncing off the motherfucking walls. <laughs> Come on. I got my setup just round the corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're totally getting fleeced, I feel. Hey, this is my rig. Hey, take all the time you need. Oh, we can't say anything else to him. All right, in we go. This can only go well. Wow, we're not even gonna sit for this? Ooh, jeez, okay. It's just gonna be... Never gonna give you just up. Just like me, isn't it? Getting trapped in the brain of Night City's dumbest merc. What? <laughs> what happened? Look around and connect the dots. Scavs. Ugh, I can't believe I got conned. So your brain isn't completely fried to a crisp. That's good. Time to wake up, because you're about to be breakfast. Did they take my gorilla arms, though? No, they didn't. Okay. Find and retrieve the equipment. Optional. Where do we get put at? Oh. Well, do you think this is what happened to, uh... What's her butt at the beginning? I can't even recall the exact details, right? Okay. Rat scavengers. Okay. Let's get them. I have somewhere to put you? In fact, is this the exact same area? Look, this is even opened in everything. Doesn't this look very similar to where we got Sandra Dorset? Yeah, and she would have been in here. This is where the other d Remember, there were two people in that tub. I think this is exactly it from the very beginning of the game, the prologue with Jackie and all that. Right? And this would be where... Yeah, you know, this is the little trauma team that came in here guns blazing a while back. Ah, yeah. That time with the Valentino looking cycle. That's the one! Looks like it's time for payback. This is kind of neat that it goes back to the, the starting area and all that. Oh, okay. I thought they were saying something super important. Okay. Weird that they all came back here, huh? If it's meant to be the exact same uh, group. <laughs> there we go. Pretty easy for our character, though, right? Right, and this thing, that seems like we should be able to get in, but we cannot. Huh. I remember them doing it in the vertical slice demo that they showed off. I don't know, maybe we just don't meet a requirement to get in there? Uh oh. Oops. Oh shit. Oh jeez. Any body storage around here? Nah. Okay. This. Okay. Up in here. Nope, can't go through that. Right, the little crawl space. 
Okay. I'm guessing the only reason why we got out of that is because of Johnny, right? Otherwise, we would have ended up like the other people. Okay. Can we grab this person from this side? Oh, we can. Alright. That's fine. Oh, I'm naked too. Right. Oh, let's take this. Yeah, good thing I have this fucking grill arm situation going on. Okay. What's this? Why is it all lit up? Is this my shit? Oh, I think it is. Actually, is it? Look at all this extra shit. Is this all mine? Oh yeah, key to Jackie's room. Alright, let's just take off. There we are. Oh, it didn't re-equip my shit. Should really put my equipment back on. Ooh, what's that that I just stuck in me? Alright. Let's see. Let's equip our shit then. And let's go back. Inventory like this. Good. Oops. Over here, we want this thing on. There we are. Legs. This one. Like that. Did I have a special thing on now? Let's see. Let's change these out. And equip. And then where is my standard heal? Oh, these are all just grenades, huh? Okay. And then this. May as well use this thing. Good. And then here. Great. And then this. What should we put here? This. Satara. Good. And then... Pistol. Okay. Cool. I think we're back to where we were, right? I think so. Yeah. Alright. Good. Alright. Take all this shit. Yeah, one of the interesting things about this area is, at least in the prologue... Oh. Oh, there we go, yeah. The environment is destructible because this is, like, part of the vertical slice. When in, like, not every other area has, like, pillars that you can blow out like this, right? It's kind of like a unique thing to this opening area. Motherfucker. Like, wasn't there stuff on the roof that you could shoot down as well? Like some of these tiles, I remember? I'm not sure about that, though. Definitely, like, the destructible wall shit. Look at that. Yeah. And as far as I know, that's just not really anywhere else in the entire game. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's in some places during, like, the main mission. Oh shit, I just I dropped my gamepad. There we go. <laughs> Had to go pick it up. Alright. Had it balanced on my knee and completely forgot. Alright. Look at all this trash over here. They still have the body depository? Uh, should I, should I have to use high for sale, too. Not now, Johnny. Oh, shit. Alright. Anything else around here? Yeah, they do have a body depository. I don't really know what the deal is with the scavengers, so do I? Either that or I've forgotten. I don't know. I feel like some of the gang introductions and stuff are a little lackluster, right? 
definitely something that you would cut in the interest of time. Wow, I just cannot see. <laughs> Puffed my berserk by putting down the body and just you cannot see anything. <laughs> out you are. Okay. There we go. Whew. Fortunately, we got like the highlight stuff. Wow, yeah, this is rough. I'm just gonna assume we didn't miss anything in here, right? There we go. Wow, yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, anything else over here? I think we're good. Okay. And then, just run on down here. Yeah, we go down the same elevator and everything. Well, well. Looks like fortune favors the stupid, too. Now what? I'm gonna ask for a refund. Mm. Too bad we can't tell Johnny and, and, like, have a laugh about how, like, we've been here before. Right? Because he wouldn't know. We didn't have Johnny with us yet during that moment. Because this is, like, wasn't this the first job before the big, um, montage with Jackie? You know, the like infamous montage that I think most people wish was like playable stuff. Look at all this. Is that voodoo blood, I think? I wonder if it's related to. What voodoo about boys. that villa fort you got out? Sell it yet? Junkyard is unlucky. Should have seen the mess inside. As if two people fucked and then threw up everywhere. <laughs> people are fucking pigs. <laughs> Great. Love it. Let's get all that. Good. Let's get out of here. Man, it's pretty far. Okay. Let's grab a ride here. Oh. Looks like we're getting another one of these. Uh, is there actually anything in this area that I need to look at before we leave? Nah, yeah, we've we've cleared out quite a bit over here. Okay. We'll just drive the rest of the way. Probably quicker, considering load screens and all that. Unless something goes, like, horribly awry. Uh, here. Good. Then. Excuse me. Oh shit. Here on the right. Great. Are we expecting this Stefan dude to be in the same spot? Also, is Stefan like a stun casted voice actor as well? I don't know. They don't sound like any other NPCs we've encountered, but maybe I'm just mistaken. Here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Beat the shit out of this guy? I'd like a refund. Oh, holy shit, girl! Y you good? Hey, after you booted up that bird, you, you started glitching out and. Save your breath. You conned me. You knew what you were doing. You wanna know what I do, though? Hmm? Now, hold up, yo. Let's all be chill for a second. Let's be nice. I'll let you go. Just this once. Why? For real? Oh, oh, God. Thank you. I knew you'd have mercy on me. Mercy? I just didn't want to get your blood on my threads. Attack! You want to go home? Another attack! <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> that was an attack, all right. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What's next that we have here? How about Fool on the Hill? Nope, that's for the graffiti. I guess we could do one of these racing things, but I'm not sure. We could meet Kirk at uh, El Coyote Coyo or Coho, something like that. Could do one of these gigs. Get to the unfinished end cart station. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. It's low. Yeah, let's do this. Gig type thievery. Steal the vehicle hauling animals medical supplies. Location Baptiste Street. Details. There's no time to sit around and lick your dick. So I'll keep this brief. You need to head over to a den of these meat brain animals and clep a van carrying medical stimulants. Some kind of modified lidocaine. Keep in mind, the stuff's white hot, stolen from Maelstrom. Those metal mongers use this lidocaine for initiation rites or whatever. And the animals as an ingredient for their favorite juice cocktail. In the biz, we call this a shortage. What do you say we up the demand even more? Step one, swipe the van. Step two, hawk the lidocaine to a few rippers. Step three, they sell it at market price. Step four, profit. Okay. Where's this at? Oh, down here by Pacifica. Okay. Well, which one of these do we want to head on over to? Hmm. Got these vehicles over here as well. Man, that one's expensive as shit. Rayfield Arendite? Guinevere? 225,000. Okay. I guess there's a fast travel thing right here. Right. This. Good. Okay. It's too bad our like our street cred didn't kick in there, right? It's uh the street cred system is very much it it gets used whenever they decide to to make use of it. <laughs> like the guy could see us and be like, "Oh shit, yeah, I'm not going to fuck you over. I know who you are." <laughs> Right, but if you go there at, like, a lower street cred level or whatever, it's a completely different reaction. Or maybe if you're, like, a... I don't know, a V with high cool, you should know better, right? Like, only Vs with low cool should fall prey to that. I don't know. Just, just fun little ways to include more skill checks, right? Greater variety of them and more of them would enjoy all right there we go because we've seen a few but most of most of the ones we've seen have <laughs> oh, fuck have been body right and body 20 of that weirdly enough right. we'll head on up and out i wasn't sure what the hell we were running over right there This way. What is that building? A bia? Mm. Oh shit, there's some shit popping off over there. That's free XP and money. I think we should do that. Alright. Good. Let's head on over. Quick save real quick. Who is this? Elder Caldos. What? We can fight them? I thought we were friends with them. Are they gonna shoot me on sight? What's gonna happen here? You have fucked yourself! Oh, I fucked myself! Am I mistaken? I thought we were on good terms with the Elder Caldos. Weren't they the ones we were working with with uh, Panam? What? Is there just, like, no reactivity for this? Is this meant to be set up like you come here earlier? Before you've met them? Before you've met Panam? Oh, that's so weird. Huh. Because they definitely have the capacity to flag certain factions as friendly or not, right? Because we saw case in point, they could have done that. We had the option to do that with the Voodoo Boys here. How weird! Huh! Maybe this was just an oversight? 
I don't know. I have to assume, right? Because there's, there's no way it would be intentional. Because we're totally fully allied with the Aldecaldos and they know who we are. I mean, Christ, we work with the leader, we help with the big tank thing. Either that or I'm mistaken about who the Aldecaldos are. are. Either it's an oversight or I'm completely mistaken about who these fucking people are. <laughs> here. Did we get all the bodies? I think we did. No, there's one more. There we go. Okay. One more bot depository. Good. What do they got going on over here anyway? I don't even know. Why was this, like, registered as a big hostile thing anyway? Right? It shows up as, like, a star in the map. I guess, like, ongoing criminal activity to work for the NCPD. So bizarre. Alright. Anything up here? Nah. Okay. Get back in our vehicle. And we'll head on out. I mean, I guess at least there's not, like, a faction tracker, right? Like, New Vegas style. We didn't lose, like, any rep by doing that. Oh shit, we should probably check this clothing store, you know? Faster to stop the car to by just ramming into some shit. <laughs> now, who are these people with? No faction. Okay. Let's go in here. Let's see, have you got anything of interest? Anything new? Anything good? Hmm. Right, this is where we bought the booty shorts. The jacket's pretty neat, though, huh? That's pretty neat. But we should probably save money for vehicles if we really want to try and buy them all. It'll be really close. Very difficult to do that. But we might be able to. Sell all this extra shit. There we go. Good. Inventory cleared out. Oops, sorry. Actually, can we just, like, blast these people? Free shit? Yeah, this isn't considered illegal. Just put them through a wall, literally. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, folks. Need to make some fucking money. There we are. What was this? It's like a smart shotgun, right? Okay. Cool. Check it out. I got more stuff to sell you. <laughs> All right. There we go. It's like an easy three grand. Okay. Get on out of here. Oh, it's right over here. Okay. Get out here. We'll do it. Can I double jump it? Yep. Oh, look, someone's detecting me. Who's this? It's the Voodoo Boys. Oh, are they now hostile to me, no matter what? Even though I made the choice. No, okay. Yeah, see? Case in point. We could have been completely all out war against the Voodoo Boys. Like, they have the capacity to flag a faction, it seems like, right? Make the faction think that you're hostile or not. Oh, look, and these are scavengers, and they're a piece. Huh. Weird. How weird. Why are the scavengers not one to fuck with me? You're gonna be dead! <laughs> I got a level out of that. Neat. Cool. Okay. What's this new animation? What is this? We never used to do that. We're like injecting ourselves. How weird. All right. Maybe we've, we've been using like a weird heal this whole time. We've been using like a different one. Yeah, is it because we've been using max stock the whole time? Yeah, this bounce back is like a syringe. But then max stock is... The inhalant, right? 
wild. Okay, sure. Okay, let's go down here. Mm. We'll see. It, it, who cares? Alright, it's on. Animal sprint. Okay. How are we gonna get the van out of here? Are we even trying to extricate it or just get like some shit from it? Okay. Let's see. There we go. Take down and hide. You know, in the prior video, I was I was getting to wonder like if Rhino was maybe intended to be like a liaison for the animals, right? Because she was like so weirdly chipper compared to every other encounter we've had with that gang. Right? Like I wonder if like I thought back as well to um what's his butt with Maelstrom, Dum Dum. I was wondering if originally they had intended for there to be like a liaison to V from each of the gangs, right? Like a friendly person that we could meet with. Oh, I can't grab you. Oh, no, wait, I think I could. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Alright. There we go. Is there a bod depository around here? Shit, there is not. Alright. Hopefully I'll be able to see after this. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Alright. Oh, there's a dude here. Bitch, for real. Look at you juking and jiving, huh? All right. Gotcha. Now let's deposit this. Put you in here. There we go. Oh, another person coming. Up. Hold your shit. All right. Works for me. Alright. We had some lore over here. Interview with a queen of the metro jungle. I don't think we've read this. Take it for later. Alright. Nice choice. Hey, don't be scared now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are there any other places to hide bodies around here? Oh, look. Oh, look at this. Okay. Come on. I swear I won't completely kill you. Oh, there's another way down. No, I'm fine going the direct route. That's more my speed anyway. Alright, let's do it. Dumpster is full. Good. Here. Oh, look, there's more bod depositories down here. Let's see, let's rip it. Yeah! Mm, give me that. Alright. Then I want to get rid of that. Just want that XP. Are you someone important? No, you're not. Either that, or you are, and you're a complete pushover. Alright. This is probably the van. Yeah, look at the map. Go. Okay. The sting on their combat music for the animals. I think the sting was louder than the actual music. Oh, it's just... okay. <laughs> it's just all kinds of weird. Are there actually dudes we're in combat with right now? I don't see any. Weird. <laughs> okay. We're fine. Take all this. Here. Good. 
Oh, hey. There's a fucking dude here. Oh, you're not actually looking at me. Yeah, look at the map. He's looking behind him. Hey. If I, like, move over here, will he see me if I move behind him? Do you think he'll start to be able to see me if I move? No. Okay. Is this explosive? Should I just blow this shit up while he's, while he's there? <laughs> Jeez. All right. Let's see. Anything else around here? Oh, we should probably take his body. Hide it. There you go. Good. Grab some of this. Up here. Anything? Now that's the shortcut from earlier. Anything on this before we take the van? Messages. Brandon Frost. From Cade to Waxy. Those cunts from Maelstrom ain't shit to me, but there is attention due to one. Brandon Frost. Some of you remember the name. Few years back, he buried a few of us alive in concrete and abandoned dock. Scrolled a XBD of it. It circulated a few days before we broke every bone in every BD dealer who touched one. But Frost is still out there. He finally crawled out of some rock he was living under. Think it's time we offered him a warm welcome. I want him alive! Oh no, pay or your head will explode. Upcoming work. In the coming weeks, seize and secure the stadium parking lot. This is urgent. Monica Steiner apparently is looking to nomads for help. Could be hollow street talk, could be legit. It's why we gotta check. Generators from the Tinos still don't work. Incompatible transistors head to their shop in the Glen and sort it. Uh, Guerrera's no more use to us. Time to put that bitch out to pasture, specifically outside our zone. And I hear concrete boots are in fashion this season. Maybe give her a pair. Signed S. Sasquatch, right? I'm pretty sure we read that before, though. Sounded vaguely familiar. Alright. There we are. It's like their company-wide email. So we just gotta drive this shit out of here. And hope we don't, like, get blasted like the last time we had to drive a van out somewhere. <laughs> Seems like we're... Okay, good! Oh, shit, maybe not! I'll piss on your fucking brain! Uh-oh, are we gonna get blown the fuck up? I don't know. Oh, we're good still. Okay. We just gotta take it to the drop-off point now. Oh shit, there are actually dudes out here. Did you see that? They were in a car, but they didn't chase or shoot at me or anything. Oh, weird. I mean, good, good for that because I don't have a way to shoot back. <laughs> You can't exactly do a drive-by in this game. <laughs> All right. Not beyond the scripted moments, at least. Okay, up here. Are there gonna be more? Nah. Maybe it was just meant to scare us. Oh no! We get so scared we drive off the road. All right. Voodoo Boys territory. Mr. Hands. You just raked in a hefty heap of eddies and have those animals see in red. See, I like folks who know how to leave a lasting impression. I think I'll close this contract and hold on to your number for a while. Okay. Let's see, what else do we have out here? I'm pretty sure we got the majority of it. I guess there's a few assaults in progress. Yeah, let's take care of those. F it. We're out here. We'll take this vehicle. Thank you! How's it going? Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Alright. There we go. It'd be funny if we climb in there first and he starts giving me money thinking that I'm like his escort or some shit. Alright. Going over here. Good, good, good. Oh, shit. Okay. Good. 
Yeah, the vehicles sure do have a difficult time coming to a stop. Uh, should we check this out too? Yeah, there's something popping off over here. This is just free money and XP. Who are these people? Scavengers? Great. You're in deep shit! Did he say Flark? Oh, whoops. That was just an innocent dude. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to my radar. <laughs> oh! There we go. Look, Street Brawler went up, though. That's good. Alright. Good, we better get out of here real quick. There's the vehicle. Great. Oh, our wanted level disappeared. Okay. Up and over this way. Okay. Good. Oh, shit. Okay, and then... See, I'm just gonna try and drift this next turn that I have to take. The issue is, is like, I can't tell which turn I'm gonna need to take because of the, the map, the mini-map is so small. Here should be... Oh, it's underneath us. Okay. Try this. There we go. Somebody help me! Whoa, take it easy. I'm not even here for it. Okay. Biomonitor is back online. Okay, what have we got? Who are you all with? The animals. Donk. Oh, it's Coach Fred again. Let me say, V, I knew you'd go far, but I didn't think you'd get this far. You're up in the finals against Razor Hugh, pro heavyweight champion, one of the best in the world. This fight will go down in history. I can feel it. Uh, okay. Sure. Go. You know, pop all of these people. Cool. All right. Ooh, legendary upgrade components, epic ones, crafting skill shard. Let's see. Crafting spec char incendiary grenade. Monica and Nina. Oh. Monica. Hey, sent the scratch. Okay, get ready. Grab a gun. Goggles in case there's a sandstorm, weeks worth of food and water. All right, listen, can't be sure someone won't follow me. Not good. Who? Animals. Very not good. What did you do? One of them killed my son, so I took his life in exchange. An eye for an eye. Girl, these are the things you mention up front. You're radioactive now. I'd be wise to cut loose here, but shit, whatever. We'll see what we can do. Appreciate it. See you in two hours, overpass El Camino. Oh, El Camino Del Mar. Don't be late. Uh-oh. And who were you with? I will never know. But they were messaging about Monica earlier, weren't they? Or maybe that was a different Monica. All right. Grab some of this stuff. Good. Oh shit, that was an archive conversation. Between Sheila and Keenan. Why aren't you answering? Keenan, fuck! You even know what time it is? Sure do. And I know who ordered the hit on Logan. <gasps> who? Some chick. Monica Steiner. That guy's mom? Lenny's mom? Yup. Knows things are heating up. Wants to skip town. Paid some smugglers. Gotta get a crew together. Catch her before she flies. You in? Sure fucking am. Cool. Be there in ten. And they were. <laughs> all right. Take all that. What was this? Oh, right. Okay, it's a shopping cart filled with mattresses and shit. Okay. Let's take all this. 
Let's drive this fucking thing. Why not? Okay, and then we want to go up to this one. We'll have to do the big fight next time, I think. Oh, it's it's down low as well. Hmm. Can I just drive over there on this vehicle? Is this a good idea or is this like a really bad idea? Starting to feel like a really bad idea. Starting to feel like I might be stuck down here. <laughs> okay. What if we really go up that shit? Gosh, I'm like those GTA stunt videos. Okay. There it is. How the fuck am I gonna get down to that safe? Maybe I can survive the fall? Alright, let's quick save. Pop this shit. Maybe this will work. Ow. Well, that didn't work at all. Who are you all? Scavengers. Hey. Go. Good. And I think that's all of them. Take off this. Good. That's it. Vest, bounce back. 982 big ones. No lore shit? Mm. Okay. You're just like harvesting a like lost couple of cargo containers. Okay. Let's see. Anything else around here? Right, all this shit. Okay. I wonder what all the cargo containers and shit are for though, right? Didn't we read that you can't, you can't go out to sea and all that? Cause look, yeah, isn't is that what the barrier is for? Is that for sea levels or for the self-replicating mines that we read about, or both maybe? So like, where would, where would the waterways go, and like how how far out did the AI replicating mines travel, and shit, right? Like that sounds so cool. I want to know more about that, honestly. You know, part of me, it's now occurred to me, part of me wonders. Because it was originally in the cards that, like, a year or two after this game was out, and I, and I guess after they did the single-player DLC paid DLC stuff, there was supposed to be the, like, standalone multiplayer shit, right? In Cyberpunk? I wonder how much of the, like, random lore and shit and, like, characters were going to spin off into that multiplayer stuff, right? Like, how many were going to appear there? Now oh, listen, we got some more coming in. WCS affiliated companies. Following a 20-year employment period within the WCS, visa holders can earn the right to permanent residence, a marriage license, and a single child permit. In Northern Europe, the humanitarian crisis has worsened. Refugees from flooded regions in Belgium and the Netherlands continue to pour into Scandinavia. Sweden has responded with force, sinking over a dozen refugee vessels in recent weeks. Despite humanitarian efforts, nearly 60 people have been killed. Have we found heaven on Earth? Permanent human settlement on Antarctica is celebrating 10 years today. A wealth of natural resources hidden under the ice has spurred on the continent's rapid economic mm -hmm. development. Though some environmental degradation has occurred as a result, inhabitants of the South Pole are still enjoying life as Antarctica's first dollhouse was recently opened. Mm -hmm. But perhaps most appealing to locals and newcomers alike is the astonishingly low crime level. Antarcticans enjoy a murder rate of only 70 per 100,000 residents. Thank you for watching N54 News. We'll see you next time. Hey look, all these people came back. Are they still Aldecaldos? Let's see. 
No, they're scavengers now. What the fuck? Maybe they were supposed to be subbed out and replaced? Like once you do are this you the shit high? with Panam? You play games with him? Huh. You are totally hot. This is so yes. weird. That's it. Weird. Yeah, it repopulated with them now being scavengers. This is the exact same spot, right? Either that or I'm like really tripping balls now. Huh, yeah, look, the body depositories are even filled up. Oh, weird. How bizarre. Maybe that's what was supposed to happen, but it like bugged out for some reason. Huh. Okay. Alright, let's go over here. Put some of these in here. Yeah, I, yeah. When, when next we come back, we'll do the final fight of Beat on the Brat. Right? It seems good to me. Let's see. In addition to some other side quests. I'm surprised we didn't actually get a phone call from Coach Fred, right? It was just the fucking... What do you call it? Shit. The text message. <laughs> you know, for a big lead up, the big finale of this, like, mini arc, would have thought that we would have got something. Alas, maybe stuff that had to be cut in the interest of time. Right. But yeah, I'm, I'm really now definitely thinking about that idea that every, like, gang and faction in the game was meant to have, like, a liaison or even potential companion for V, right? I don't know. Or maybe even like a like a romance option or something, right? Shit, I would fucking romance Rhino. Like, who else would there have been? Like I said, Dum Dum. Let's see, did we know someone from... Maybe like Placid from the Voodoo Boys or something? You could have gotten on his good side or some shit? Um, what other gangs were there? The Scavenger? We don't really know anyone from the fucking Scavengers, so... I don't know. Do we know anyone from like the Tiger Claws? Who's like a regular like rank and file member? I'm not sure. I'm not sure that we do. Like, was there anyone that popped up in like a side quest and was kind of memorable? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, when next we come back, this big um, final fight thing—it's right over there, huh? Until next time, please take care of each other.